Now let's go over the commands a little bit. This is the shebang. It's quintessential for any lin Linux script that I've seen. And if you want more information about it, I suggest you go to Google. Now the command we're running is uh, is located at uh, slash usr slash sbin. It's IP tables. IP tab tables is uh, the local firewall. It's actually the Linux firewall. And what we're saying in this whole very very long line, what we're saying is everything that comes from the outside world. Let me just pull up the picture here. Everything that comes in from this side and it's going into port 143 this is another security measure I've implemented here I'm not only saying open this uh, this port whenever uh, someone um, whenever someone uh, execute the command so because this is like too easy <laughs> I don't want it, I want everyone to know that uh, that my remote desktop is on this port so what I've done is actually say okay you know if this uh, command is, has been executed if someone here if this computer says I want to communicate on port 143 and and the command has been executed take this port for 143 convert it into 3389 on this side and send it over to the, to the network so this is just another security security measure. What well, what happens is, even if someone uh, he got the sequence, he got the he has to to first put in the the two and then the one and then the three in the certain amount of time that I've I'm going to show you how to set it up. Then the remote desktop is going to work on port 143. It's not going to work on on the regular port. It's going to on the external side of the of the network is going to work on port 143, and on the inside the network it's going to work on the, the default ports. So the the upshot of that is I can format my computer like 20 times a day. I don't need to go into the registry and change the the port. I know it sound, sounds a bit much, but Believe me, it's just uh, um, another me measure of security, and sometimes you actually need it. Sometimes you have multiple computers on your network, or your, uh, or the 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 work network is uh, the firewall is actually blocking, uh, blocking the communication for port uh, for for port three three eight nine for the outside world. So there's there's a lot of situations in which this is very useful. So going back to the to the router. Again, the, whatever is destined, this is actually the command that's been executed. The, the sequence has been entered and the command is actually executing. So this is the first command. Anything on the outside world, this, is, this, is, this part right here is go to the, to the memory. This is the NVRAM I didn't want to talk to you about earlier. The, uh, go to the, to, the, to the memory, pull what is my external IP address and anything on that external IP address destined, destined, destined for port 143 is going to be uh, converted into my internal IP address. This is my statically assigned internal IP address and this port. So this is just a, a switcheroo kind of thing, kind of, kind of rule here. Once you've executed the, this command, this is actually just a little bit of fun for 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 anyone who wants to see it, but this is actually light up the the Cisco um, the, Cis the Cisco uh, lamp. I think this one's the orange one, and the second one is the the white one. But don't hold me to it because it might be the other way around. Now the second uh, command is uh, actually again uh, dealing with the firewall. It's not only necessary to to uh, make the the switch for for the port. You need to actually allow it to pass through because if you're not gonna allow the f if the firewall is gonna block the the communication, you haven't done anything. So this is what uh, this line is gonna do. It's gonna allow the c the communication on this port to to this IP address. The dollar one symbol is a bash shorthand to say this file has been executed while passing on from the executioner, which is the knock daemon uh, parameter. And this parameter, I'm going to show you in the configuration file how to do that, but uh, this parameter is actually the IP address of the knocker.